Hello there guys, Feng here, and welcome back to 1849. So, we covered this game on the channel, uh, back when it was in beta, and it was looking to be a, a pretty damn nice game. It got released, there were a few patches, and then it was pretty much left after that. There were still a few um, things, there were still a few features that need to be uh, placed in my opinion. Uh, they did. They did listen to some of the uh, feedback on the forums, and they did. Um, did include stuff like a WSD movement and stuff like that. So yeah, it's um, it's pretty nice. Now Nevada Silver is the latest DLC for it. It was released a few days back, and this will include uh, six new scenarios, which we will probably play the first few uh, of the course of the playtime. And of course, uh, sandbox mode with the you know, content pack. Okay, so the first thing we're going to show you is the actual map. So obviously, the map's in a desert. Um, there's a lot of things that you can't build. You're a bit more restricted in a sense with this particular content pack than you are in California. However, there is a new feature uh, with the way trading works. So previously you could um, trade, you could set up a trade and you could buy or sell um, w whenever you wanted to. Well, with, the, with the, way, the way trains work, there's a set time on when these trains will come to either deliver or to, um, well, import or export, let's just say that. So you've got to really think ahead of time. And it's actually a really cool mechanic and I do like it. It makes the game slightly harder since you can't actually really designate how much quantity of stuff you want. And it just provides a bit more of a challenge. So, um, oh yeah, one more thing before we crack on. Settings. There's still no sound effects and music sliders. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I've just took them off anyway because they can get annoying. So, let's go to Dayton. Uh, maybe Nevada is far enough. Make a go of it on the Carson River. Okie dokie, let's start. Right, so, you've fought the rivers narrow and wide, you've seen seasons pass as you cross endless plains, crested the skyscraping rockies, and survived the stark parched lands of the Great Basin, or blah 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 blah, basically. A lot of blah blah blah. Right, so the first we've got to do is establish at least two sawmills and sell 300 boards to wash, uh, to wash our city. Okay, okay, so we can start off with cash in hand, distill wisdom, which is start with wheat farm and distillery, or start with ranch and 1,500. Okay, so I'm actually going to pick the silver one. We're going to go with uh, wheat and distillery, because we do need to get that alcohol as soon as possible. Right, now I'm just going to quickly pause. Now you're going to notice some uh, some few things a bit different. First thing you're going to notice is the UI is now silver. Yay! Kind of makes sense, you know, silver rush. <laughs> instead of gold rush um, but yeah there's a there's a new building we've got the casino now that that takes over the um, the saloon we never got a casino but I haven't actually seen any more types of building like that so I think the only type of house you can have the highest quality is probably a large house which I suppose does make sense you're not probably gonna not find mansions out in the desert it probably doesn't really make sense, so yeah, that's fine. I'm um, just looking to see if there's anything else uh, that might be new as of yet. I don't think there's going to be anything new in this particular scenario, no, unfortunately. Now let's talk about the, uh, the the newest feature of the game, which is the station, the train station. So, fairly similar to that of the usual trade um, system, you normally have three. On this particular snow, we've only got two routes. And as you can see, the next arrival will be in 13 days with for Washoe City. Place a reel in 44 days. So you have to kind of guess what you need before then. And you can buy and sell. Now, this is how it works you have three slots for each train, you have a set, uh, three selling slots and three buying slots. Right? Okay? So. These will actually reoccur, so this is actually somewhat of a nice op um, automatic uh, trade system in a sense. You still need to be careful about what you're selling and what you're buying because you might be buying too much and end up bankrupt, or you might be selling what you need by accident because you forgot to change it. So there's still a lot of management involved, which I suppose is pretty, uh, pretty nice. So, as you can see, we could sell boards, meat, and hides. Now, we're not going to be able to do that just yet. I I'm just thinking if we've got... Yeah, we've got an hunting camp. 
Okay, so we could probably start off with maybe selling a few hides. Now hides are actually only 200. Um, we could go with meat instead. I'll tell you what, we'll go with hide to start off with. So I'm going to start selling by selling 40 hides. But we're going to need some lumber. We don't have access to lumber at all on this, so... <coughs> we're going to need to buy some lumber. Uh, two ticks. Okay, sorry about that. I was joking to death. I'm sure you wanted to know that. <laughs> okay, so Placerville has got different resources that we can sell and buy. So, uh, for this one we can sell gold quartz, cheese and stone. We don't have actually have access to that at the moment. But we can also buy in fabric, stone bricks and can meat. Uh, majority of stuff we are going to need. But for the time being we need to worry about lumber just to start off with. So I'm going to do the usual. We're going to start off with uh, two more houses. Like so. Um, we still got 1,200 to play around with, so I'm going to go ahead and build. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to build a fiber guy first. And I'm just going to make sure that it's in a place where it covers most of the land. Yeah, that's fine. And stick it there. I'm also going to need to build. I have already played this scenario previously, so I kind of know what to expect from this one. So I'm just going to start building by doing this. It's not it's not very optimized doing like this by the way. <laughs> this is just the way that I did it previously didn't seem to work. So I'm just going by that. Now we're gonna need a sheriff's office as well because we are gonna um, have a few more uh, migrants than we normally would. And we're also going to need I'm not gonna need a casino just yet. We're probably gonna need a bakery. So I'm gonna stick the bakery uh, probably do, 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 probably there maybe. Yeah, I could build, I could put it there. And then what we can do is we can have a road going that way from there to there to there to there. There we go. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Okay, so now we've got 300 left. Can't really do anything with that, so let's start it. I'm just going to put it on fast forward for a bit, and we'll see where we go from that. Okay, so currently we don't have any wheat. We've got to wait for, obviously, our wheat to uh, grow. We are going to need another wheat farm as soon as possible, because uh, we are going to need it for both alcohol and food. Uh, your advisor has something to say. Your town now boasts a population of 15. Yay, keep supplying and shit. Right. So I think we've got our first uh, lumber um, order by the look of it. Or maybe not. What the hell? Did I actually. No, no, no. It's it's coming. It's coming. That was weird. There was a train just come, come by and it wore, it wore one of ours. Really weird. Okay, okay. Looks like we've got. Um, Hang on, did that already... Oh god, we've already run out of money already. Fuck's sake. That's not a good start. That is not a good start at all. Are we not making enough... Um... Well, let's see what we'll do. We'll try to stock palm meat, and we'll sell one lot of meat as well. There we go. We can always make ranches anyway. We have got access to ranches, so we'll probably uh, use some ranches eventually as well. As you can see, we need more booze. That's the kind of the thing here. We haven't got enough... Uh, I'm going to wheat farm, so we definitely going to need another wheat farm. So I'm going to stick another wheat farm there. There we go, and that should really help us try to uh, try to get along now. <clears throat> okay, how much money have we got? Four hundred dollars. Not an awful lot, and we still are having problems with the distillery. I'm probably going to build an uh, or uh, orchard as well. <laughs> Is that on the place we we'll want? No, it was that. It was the well city. I'm just thinking if there's anything else I could probably uh, stone. Can we? Can we? Okay, I'm gonna build a stone quarry so at least that way we can actually start sending some stone. I'm just gonna wait for the next loan money to come in and just see if that works out. Okay. Since we are quite low, and we've already used up our um, main funds. Uh, backup funds. I might, I might have to. No, we should be okay. I'm just going to make sure that we've got another uh, house there. There we go. Maybe two more houses. There we go. I'm just hoping we've got enough lumber for it, though. Oh, we've got enough lumber. It seems to be coming in pretty, uh, pretty well. That's kind of the good thing, actually, about just having it automated. You don't have to worry too much. As long as you can afford it, you don't have to worry too much about um, reordering it every two seconds. So that's good. Uh, although we are selling the meat, and it looks like we're selling hides as well, which we don't have an awful lot of. And we just bought 100 more stuff. We might actually go bankrupt here. Back <laughs> Uh Yeah, I'm just 
thinking do, 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 do what we should do. Oh, I'm gonna stop the uh, I'm gonna stop the buying of lumber for the time being. We got plenty of lumber for probably another month or two, so we'll leave that go like half of it. And oh yeah, we need to start selling stone. So ten stone for fifty. It's not a lot, and as you can see, uh, we can only really sell thirty at a time to one. But it's still it's still money at the end of the day. One hundred and fifty. It's not a lot, but it's still money. It's just a shame that they only come around every 44 days or something like that. It's not a problem. But it is going to help us get just that little bit more money in that we're going to need. Alright, let me just see. What was the um, what was the thing? Oh yeah, we need sawmill, don't we? We need some boards. Yeah. Are we still low on booze? Well, booze is not a problem there, so we can probably focus on getting the... Oh! What about that then? While slushing around the river with logs and lumber, you found you found some gold quartz. Mind you, this isn't the pure stuff that was laying around in that, um, California, so you have to send it off to be milled and refined. That's great. That's actually really uh, great now because we can go ahead and start making pure money from this. So we're going to start off with one panning station, and I think gold quartz is for this one, yeah. So we can hold off the stone for a little bit and sell some gold quartz. There we go. That should be okay, and um, we still got enough people to be able to, um, to be able to work. That's so that's good. We also are going to need a casino pretty soon, so we can upgrade our houses and get more rent. Uh, I don't want to do it just yet though, because we're in a pretty sticky situation at the moment. We're just waiting to see if uh, we still got plenty of lumber. That should last us a little bit longer. Come on, 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 come on. We're now losing money, that's not good. Uh, uh oh. We sold 250's worth to Asher City, that's the, uh, probably the, yeah. I need a place for it to come, it's got 38 days though, that's a long time for the gold. But we've got plenty, we should have plenty of gold now, yeah, we've got 8 gold, so that's not too bad. That'll probably be 15 by the time the play, the, um, place of one comes come on come on come on I'm just debating whether I should have more houses or not uh, oh we're gonna need more lumber soon okay I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and build two more houses yeah I'm then going to uh, build a saloon not a saloon sorry casino big difference between the two and we need to go ahead and make sure we order in some lumber. There we go. That's in one day. There we go. Sweet. We've got quite a lot of money now. That's absolutely fantastic. So now we can probably focus on getting some of the other stuff done. Okay. So uh, we have we've got new objectives, eleven we? So we need to sell 150 gold quartz. We also need to build three ranches and sell 200 meat and cheese to your neighbours. So we still need to sell uh, cheese as well as meat. So we're gonna need a ranch fairly soon. Your attention is urgently needed. It's full of unemployed workers. Now it's around about this time that we do need to focus on giving the did it came to jail, which I'll stick. Uh, do, 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 do. That should cover most of it. Let's get let's get there. Uh, I can't build the ranch just yet because we're just shy of one thousand. As you can see, if I'd have bought the ranch, then we would have actually lost. So let's see where the ranch is. There we go. Okay, I'm just waiting for it to build up a little bit. Come on, come on. You know you want to. Uh, boards. Oh, of course, we need boards as well. God damn it. I might just build the sawmill first, actually. Yeah, I'll build the sawmill first. And then we'll build the ranch later. Boards are definitely going to be useful. Oh, we just sold $800 worth of stuff. Sweet. Now, the cheese one, is that for this one as well? No, that's just boards <laughs> that we can sell. Uh, do, 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 do. So, Placeville is the one with cheese. Well, we don't need to sell stone no more. We could just go straight for cheese. Even though we're not producing cheese just yet. As long as we've got enough bread, and we have, so that's good, and booze, then that's fine by me. Okay, now we can go ahead and build a ranch, I think. We should have enough now to be able to uh, pay for that. There we go. 
our first ranch. We still need two more though. That's just the uh, that's the problem. We actually need two more. Okie dokie. As long as we've got enough uh, planks coming in, we've got enough lumber. Okay, we've got we've got ten lumber there. Where's the planks? Oh, the planks are being used for build uh, for thingy. Okay. Uh, a caravan of soldiers heading west has stopped in your town. It seems that some bandits have permanently borrowed one of their supply wagons. Help them resupply with fabric and iron. Okay, so this one's going to be a bit, a wee bit harder. We need to kind of manage our supplies to be able to buy the fabric. So we can buy 40 uh, fabrics in. Actually, how long have we got to get this? That's a good question. Uh, 318 days, okay. So that's not a big deal. We can buy in a wee bit of iron as well. We are going to need some iron anyway. And I'll probably go ahead and get some more lumber. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and actually sell some boards while I'm at it as well. Yeah, a bit of each. There we go. Let's see. Let's see how that goes. That should be fairly straightforward. Uh, and we're doing for gold. Gold quartz. Okay. I could probably build another uh, panning station now. I could probably build two panning stations. Yeah, why not? Let's let's go ahead and build two panning stations. Actually, no, let's not. Let's let's leave it. Let's just see how it goes first. I don't fancy, um, don't fancy building too quickly. Uh, we've got less residents. Yeah, we need more boards. There was the lumber. At least from at least from building up a nice supply of lumber now. But we still need boards. Yeah, we need to make sure cheese is off the distribution list. Okie dokie. So what we're gonna do now is we still need a smelter. We need to be able to smelt and make um, pickaxes. I think we need 200 pickaxes, don't we? No, 100 pickaxes and 200 stone bricks. Stone bricks we can't make ourselves, unfortunately, but we can import them in. So that's what we're going to do. And I think I'm actually going to build the uh, orchard, the orchard next. There we go. The main reason for that is that we're going to need more bread. Because I'm probably going to uh, build a few more houses. So we're going to build two more houses, like so. Get some more venting. Oh, we've got loads of money now coming in. That is superb. But we are going to need the workers as well, because obviously we need, a, we need a few more ranches and stuff. So we need another ranch, so I'm going to build that straight away. There we go. Sweet. And it's coming along nicely, actually. That's uh, pretty handy. We are going to need another sawmill pretty soon. And we can probably build that now. It's just rocking out of control now. <laughs> Already. Absolutely rocking out of control. There we go. Sweet. So we should now have enough boards coming in. I mean, enough lumber coming in to make boards, which currently we don't. <laughs> uh, we have got iron ore coming in now. Uh, but we need to make that into actual iron. So we do need the smelter next, which I can't afford to build just yet. We just need to wait a little bit longer. Here's our fabric. Have we got enough fabric? Um, where's the fabric? Oh, it's it must. Have, oh, it's being used. God damn it! Well, we need some more fabric then, aren't we? Have we got enough cheese to accommodate for that? Yeah. Oh, as you can see, we've actually run out of wheat there now. As you can see, the telegraph has just arrived. Right, what's this one for? You'll be able to attract veteran miners from California that will upgrade automatically your panning. I have two seven, I have seven large houses and two casinos. Okay, that's cool. We could probably build another casino. Well, I'm not going to do that just yet. We need the smelter. That is the important one now. There we go. Now, let me just have a quick look at the iron as well. I don't really want to build any more. I don't really want to buy any more iron if we've got enough, but we haven't quite got enough yet. But at least we're selling stuff, which is really nice. Really nice indeed. Right. Might stop the boards and just make more and just sell more meat, since that's what we're actually producing quite a lot of now. We'll keep the boards separate since we do need it to upgrade. Uh bread. I probably could do another bakery, in all honesty. So let's go ahead and build another bakery, and that should be okay as far as um, food goes. Uh, people can live off bread, and we can sell cheese and meat. 
thinking what else we're gonna need. Do, 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 do. We've got loads of stone, but we can't really do anything with it. That's the only problem. I don't think we need. We, I don't think we can even use stone to upgrade our buildings now. So it's kind of pointless building that since we're not. We haven't got a spare slot for stone anyway. Not for only fifty bloody dollars. That's disgusting, really. Where's our fabric? Have we got no fabric now? No fabric whatsoever. <laughs> God damn it. Well, I suppose I'll build the other casino now, but now that we've got some more money. So, I'll stick a casino there. There we go. Uh, that casino is still going to need a, a pathway, so let's just go there and there. Brilliant. That's that one done. Um, yeah, so it's just waiting for the uh, iron to smelt and the fabric to, um, to get here. Might have to even bump it up even more and get even more fabric it's probably going to be worth it though because uh, at the end of the day we're getting a lot of rent from these houses now since they are large houses and it's just a basically a waiting game from there where are we going on with this oh we still need to sell boards to wash up city shit so I need to change that back to boards <laughs> bollocks should have been uh, checking that out really. Uh, sell 150 gold quartz, which is pretty close to being done actually. We've done cheese and the meat already, but we need one more ranch. And of course, we need to um, stockpile pickaxes and stone bricks. I'm not going to bother with the pickaxes just yet until we get enough iron. Speaking of iron, I don't need to actually buy any more iron ore for the time being. Let's just get more lumber in. So that we've got enough for planks. To be able to sell. Brilliant. It looks nice and glistening, doesn't it? Hey. Lovely. Right then. Still haven't quite got it yet, have we? Where's our fabric? Fabric's disappeared already. Jesus Christ. I don't think we're going to be able to buy in as much fabric as we can actually handle with the houses. That's the only problem. So I think we're going to, we're probably going to fail this commission. Which is unfortunate. But, you know, you don't always need commission. So it's not necessarily, uh, not necessarily a bad thing. I might just start getting ready to do my blacksmith stuff. Yeah, I might as well. I might as well. Have we got enough food coming in? Uh, sort of. We could alleviate that by building another wheat farm. Which I'll just stick over here, like so. And that should be fine, for the most part. Uh, 35 fabric. Yeah, fabric's just being used as soon as it's sent, so it's kind of pointless actually trying to consider doing that. Which is unfortunate. Right, let me sort out the bakeries. Let's go for production and output. I mean, we got this is the good thing actually about having so much um, stone that we're not going to use. We just need to be able to do this. There we go. And we can use it for upgrades. Okay, so what's going on here? Cannot find enough source materials in deposit. Really? Oh, really? Have I used it all already? Shit. Well, we're going to find, so that's not a big deal. We can uh, close shop now. There we go. We only need 100 uh, pickaxes, and we're not using pickaxes ourselves at the moment, so they're not going to go anywhere. Uh, I'm just thinking what else we need. We need stone bricks now as well. So while we've got fabric there, we still need to be able to get in some stone bricks, so I'm going to switch that to stone bricks. We are definitely going to fail this commission. And that's just unfortunate. It's just because of the amount of houses we've got. Really, we haven't got enough. Um, we can't. It, we can't import enough fabric in to be able to cater to the amount of houses we got. And I suppose that's one of the negatives about this kind of system: the fact that we can only order so much. We can only order hundred and twenty. Now, of course, in the previous one. Uh, you were only limited to the amount of resources they actually had. Whereas in this, you're just limited to the amount of squares that you can uh, put in. You know, there's upsides and downsides to both kind of um, trade systems. But this one's not too bad. Not too bad. It's a lot more challenging, in my opinion, than the other one. 
because you got to be on times and whatnot. Okie dokie. 4,000, Jesus Christ. We should probably work on some upgrades, really. We can upgrade on that one. Yeah, we've got upgrades for that one already. We don't need to upgrade that. We can probably upgrade the sawmill. We need stone bricks to upgrade the... To upgrade the actual blades. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to upgrade the, the money ones. It's about the pickaxe. I'm not going to actually bother with that. Because the pickaxes won't be um, that... What to do. Oh, lumber. Um, we've got 150 lumber in our... Holy shit, we've got 443 lumber. Uh, but when we still haven't got enough boards by the look of it but we are selling them aren't we we are starting to sell boards now so if I just very really quickly look how far we're getting on uh, okay so we're nearly done the boards that's fine by me we still need one more ranch that's what I forgot we still need another ranch so let's go ahead and build uh, another ranch which I can probably get away with sticking there there we go just thinking what else we're gonna need do, 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 do. So we got that. That's that one actually already done now. So now it's just a case of having the pickaxes and the stone bricks. So I think what I'm going to do now is concentrate on uh, mass stone bricks rather than fabric. Yeah, they'll they'll degrade. The houses will degrade, but uh, we just need to worry about the scenario at the moment. So it's no big deal. Commission is due soon. That's fine. That's going to happen. I mean, it's luckily really that fabrics are neither large house. If it was anything lower, then then we probably would have problems. But no, it seems okay now. Yeah, it simply won't fast enough. Yeah, you know, it's it's going to happen. It's going to happen. You you can't. You're not going to be able to cater for everything, unfortunately. And that's us done with smelting. So let's. Oh, hang on, that was already closed. Oops. <laughs> that's what I meant to do the first time. Oh yeah, the hunting camp. We can probably upgrade that one a little bit. There we go. Um, we could probably upgrade this. No, that's not. Um, I think what I might do actually is I might just um, since we're literally just waiting on time now, I'll probably uh, I'll probably pause this here. Cause as you can see, all I'm waiting for now is to be able to get the stone bricks and sell and get the pickaxes. So I'm gonna stick a pause in here and just let it run, and I'll see you very shortly. Okie dokie then, so we haven't got really long now, we're just waiting on this last place of order which is going to take uh, 12 days and then we've got enough um, we've got enough stuff to be able to complete the scenario. I just want to have a quick talk about what I think about this uh, expansion now, yeah. Uh, don't get me wrong, it is quite nice and we've done it already so that's absolutely superb, sweet. And we've got quite a nice score for that, not too bad. Alright. So, I've only played uh, up to the second scenario as of yet. I'll do the second scenario uh, next episode. But, um, it's really weird, you know, the especially the trade system. I, I mean, I can understand kind of historically because, you know, trains were the thing back then. But I don't like how you're that limited, you know. That's just personal preference, I suppose. But it does make the game a lot more challenging. And that's a good thing. That is really a good thing. Because I know uh, back in the ca California, the um, stock map, uh, it was quite easy. Perhaps because of the way the trade system worked. But, um, alright, and guys, so that was Dayton. And I'll see you next time for Washoe.